to work on the yellow Ford again, and this time we're basically going to just add caster. So right now we have zero caster. The kingpin is vertically, perfectly straight up and down. So what we want is this kingpin to be tilted to the back of the car. Our goal is going to be to add about 15 to 20 percent angle on this kingpin here. What that's going to do is when you're driving down the road, it's going to make it harder for the tire to basically kind of jump around. So it's not going to go side to side as easily because your angle is now coming back. So when you hit a bump, it's not going to jump that tire as easily. It's also going to make it when you go into the corners, you're going to have a little bit of a raise on the, on the left side and a lower on the right side just because of that angle is going to kind of flip the tire to its sides instead of having a perfectly ver vertical where all it's doing is just rotating right on the crown of the tire. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this bracket, we're going to have to cut this weld and then we're going to lean this all back so this bottom part is at the very edge of here at this pipe and then also on the back. That should give us about 10 to 15 percent uh, of an angle which will be plenty for this and then we'll see how it drives. Well, spindles are off. I got a new respect for uh, Lowell's welds on this thing. Uh, I had to use a cut off, a new cutoff wheel for each one. It took about 15 minutes a piece to get cut off. But as you can see, they're still clean. I can clean all this up so they're completely reusable. Even this pipe here, I didn't even cut into. So I cut just basically all weld and just kind of beveled the edge of this, which is fine because I'm going to TIG weld this back on so I can fill in whatever I cut out. So we're going to go from perfectly vertical to about right there so it's going to be actually probably more than my other cart just to see if uh, that improves it okay so let's recap what we did here basically cut off the spindle re-welded the spindle I just took a measurement on what the angle is and I'm at about 15 degrees which is a actually quite a bit more than uh, my other cart which is at 8 degrees and we'll have to see how 15 degrees works compared to 8 degrees. Maybe a little bit too much but from what I've read it may be exactly what this needs. So we'll give it a test drive and see what happens. Amazing. It's a completely different car. It drives great. You feel like you're on rails around the corners. Uh, previous to the change in the caster, uh, it would bounce around. I never felt comfortable going fast around corners because it would throw you around. Your knees would hit to the side, back and forth, and it was just it was just uncomfortable. But now it, it feels like it's stuck to the road. So it's it's a big improvement. 15% uh, was probably too much if you were going to build a new car or you want to change to a better caster percentage I would probably or angle I would probably go with uh, 8 to 10 percent angle I think that's right where you need to be uh, my the rat rod car has 8 percent and I think 10 percent would be a little bit better and I think that would get you where you want to go so to improve your car make it where it feels a lot better and it's a lot better handling and it's a lot better to just drive eight to ten percent caster and from there on you you know you can play around with other things but uh, the caster I think is the biggest uh, change that you're gonna see as far as handling goes so to be a safer ride it'll be just a better a better cart altogether
I hope that helps, and uh, make sure to check out our Facebook at Arizona Cycle Cart Club on Facebook.